right, so here to do the mulch. He's backing up right now, and uh, yeah, about to get to it. All right, guys, as you can see in this little part right here, uh, the a good chunk of that is the uh, mulch, but this last little bit where he is dumping this uh, is actually uh, dirt. When they load it up in the morning, uh, I guess they didn't uh, clean out the trailer bed, uh, so there was actually quite a bit of dirt in the bottom of that, and I didn't realize that until most of that was uh, already on the ground and what kind of sucks is um, there was some mulch actually on top of all that dirt so when he was trying to get all the mulch out uh, all that dirt slid out uh, with it uh, so I have a little update on how that got remedied later on in this video so if you keep watching I'll explain uh, what happened and the uh, solution that uh, we got Yeah, this right here is about eight shovels. And uh, this thing's about 15, 16. This, he can usually do about two of these for every one of these. So it's, it's kind even. of uh, about even. Yeah, about even. So, uh, but mainly I got this thing just because all the way in the back is, uh, it's, uh, it's a lot more difficult to, um, traverse back there so that's the main reason why I got this just to help out with uh, you know taking as much mulch as we can uh, to those back areas um, but yeah as you can see here um, I mean this pile was you know freaking tall and it you know came out to about right here uh, and we've been here maybe an hour and a half two hours total and we've gotten a good chunk of it done already so um, just based on what we have left, I'm thinking it's going to be exactly the right amount. We might have a little bit left over, but you know, like I say, I always go a little bit high, uh, when I bid just cause I'd rather have too much and, you know, put it in certain areas and, you know, make sure it looks thick and, you know, nice areas and stuff as opposed to having too little and not having enough and you know then that throws off my uh whole project so um yeah we're just doing this over here and then like the whole back um this front up here was done last year by a different company um and they actually came in and uh i think they did like some sprinkler work and stuff so um that's why i didn't take care of that i originally did bid this front and the front was 20. um but she needed some, you know, other stuff done, so that's why I didn't get to it. And so, how's it going, Scott? Not bad, man. Moving it. Moving it, huh? Moving it. 21 yards? Huh? 21 yards? 21 yards. We're moving it. We have about maybe an hour and a half, two hours left. Yeah, on. I would say so too. I just want to let you guys know that when I had Jordan and Scott help me, uh, I had originally budgeted for about five or six hours worth of uh, actual work. And when uh, when we finished, and uh, I think Jordan clocked in at around four hours, and uh, Scott was a little bit more at I think about six. Uh, but for both of them, I bumped them up to uh, eight hours. Just so uh, I could make sure that, you know, they uh, made enough money because, you know, moving 21 yards mulch is, is uh, pretty tiring in and of itself. 
Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update on uh, on that. Yeah, and just make sure that you uh, take care of your guys. <laughs> so that's all that's left, and it's mostly it's a lot of dirt. So yeah, we're just stuff. gonna try and find uh, some spots kind of hidden to dump the majority of this stuff. Yeah, we got all over here good. This is what we first started out at. Then we just kind of worked our way back this way. Yeah. See how that power buggy, there's probably a couple inches on each side of this gate for it to fit through here. It was kind of a little narrow right here. right here it's kind of a slope so it's kind of difficult getting it over here yeah sorry if there's wind it's uh pretty windy and chilly right now but uh so this is the area that i wanted to get the power buggy mostly for it's just Getting all of that all the way over here, not having to wheel through it. So, worked out real well here. And then, continue to dump it over here and spread it out. So, yeah, all this stuff here 21 yards. Yeah, there's a couple piles right here we need to flatten out, spread out. But yeah, it is uh, almost done. It's about 11.30, I think. 11.47. Been here for uh, two and a half, three hours, something like that, so not too bad. Moving 21 yards. Three people. So. All right, so <laughs> hope I don't get pooped on, huh? Um, so yeah, we got this in the front. Uh, this is a second pile of 90% dirt, 10% mulch. Um, I'll have an update on that on my way home, but uh. The mulch place, uh, they did me right this time, so that's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, Scott's blowing off now. We're going to take this to the uh, dump where I got my uh, mulch. And then we'll uh, drop this off. There's just a little bit right here, but you can see all this. Looks pretty good. I know I kind of already did this before, but we're like done. Yeah, that's it, guys. Looks pretty good. All right, I will uh, see you in the truck when I'm on my way home. Hey, what's up, guys? So uh, it's about three o'clock, and uh, just wrapped up. Just dropped uh, Scott off, and uh, yeah, uh, mulch job went pretty well. It uh, took a lot 
less time than what uh, I thought it was going to take. Uh, I think we were there total probably maybe four hours or so. Um, so that's what, 12, about 12 man hours. And um, there was that, uh, there was all that dirt that was uh, towards the bottom of uh, my mulch pile. And I ended up taking, I, we ended up loading a little bit of it up as much as I thought my trailer could handle. Cause you know, dirt's freaking heavy. Went to the dump, which uh, the place where I, I dump my leaves, they also sell mulch. And that's where I got my mulch from. And uh, ended up talking with like the yard manager there. And uh, he was totally cool about it, apologetic. And uh, so they let me dump it into uh, this pile like way in the back. And he ended up calling like the uh, uh, the main office. He said he was gonna see about getting me reimbursed for I think like five yards, which I still think I got 21 yards of mulch, but there they didn't clean out the uh, trailer bed before they loaded my mulch in. So when they dumped it this morning, there was there was a bunch of uh, dirt in it. So yeah, I had to make uh, one trip there, and then we had to come back and uh, load up that power buggy, and then load up the rest, and then go back to the dump and uh, uh, dump that. So it was cool of them to uh, go ahead and reimburse me for like five yards. Um, you know, because that's not my fault that, you know, the dirt gets in there or that whoever was in there or whoever did it didn't clean out the, uh, uh, the, tr uh, trailer bed, uh, before loading in my mulch. Um, so, you know, hopefully, you know, that that's going to cover my costs of having to make two trips, uh, to the dump. And, uh, I, I think it will. You know, I, I think I paid 22, 22.75 a yard times five. So it was at 110, bu about 110 bucks or something. And uh, so yeah, that that was that was pretty cool. I, I wasn't sure what they were going to uh, say or do, but uh, it it uh, they met my expectations and then went went a little bit above, you know, doing the reimbursement. So that was cool. Uh, but yeah, I got, got some uh, pictures and video. I wanted to get a little bit more, but I, you know, I don't know. I don't know how you guys feel about, you know, if you guys are trying to do, uh, you know, Instagram posts or YouTube videos or, you know, whatever. When you see your, the guys you're working with working and, you know, you're just walking around with uh, a camera and you know they're sweating they're working hard and you're just like you know doo -doo 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 -doo, you know um so I, I i just i just hate that feeling um but i don't know maybe maybe i just need to suck it up and you know the the guys who work for me you know just kind of have to know that you know this is this is what i want to do for my business so yeah, anyway, like I said, I got pictures and uh, some video. So I'm gonna be posting the pictures up on my uh, Instagram. You can check me out, uh, at Lawn Care Ninja. Yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna be it for this video. If you could leave a like on this video, I would appreciate it. And, uh, you know, hit that subscribe button because I would, uh, I would love to put out more videos. And, uh, you know, ho hopefully some of these videos, you know, might be able to help some of you guys who might be thinking about starting a lawn care business or, you know, maybe it's your first year, uh, you know, cause I have, I have like 15 or 16 years experience, but this is my first or last year was my first year, uh, running my own business. So, and leave a comment down below on, uh, what you think of the job and if you like it or not we will uh catch you guys in the next video uh hopefully i'm going to be trying to put out at least one video a week and um you know s s some of these videos that i'm doing i i honestly don't have any more work scheduled 
Um, so they might just be kind of, uh, you know, something about yard book or uh, my mulching calculator. Uh, so yeah, you know, I'm just gonna be trying to come up with ideas. Uh, so yeah, subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you guys in the next one. Later. Thank you.